Hey everybody, welcome to the final part of Star Fox Zero. Uh, we are going to Venom in this part after our not a loading screen portal transition finishes. Wait for it. There yeah, we we're go. Traveling in time and Chrono Trigger. <laughs> uh, uh, PS1 version with the loading, right? No, 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 no. SNES had that too. No, you could skip it in the SNES. No, wait. I, maybe you could skip it in the DS version. I don't really remember. I have no fucking idea, Fox. <laughs> <laughs> you have to listen to them jabber, though. Um, once the once the the talking ends, then you can actually play stuff. Wee! Fox, I'm getting the idea that you're not listening. <laughs> what? No, not really. <laughs> uh, no, I, we have to stop. We have to stop James McLeod. Yeah, that's that's what we're here, right? So what you're saying, General Pepper, is that you sent him to the Phantom Zone. And he's brought some new toys with him. He's even gained control of our teleporter. How? <laughs> if this continues, he just did. I'm talking. <laughs> also, how do we get him out of here? We never get Pepper out of here. Also, um, why don't you just kill him the, the first uh, place? The tower has its own oxygen tank. Well, all that oxygen's leaking out because it's broken. You know? Yeah, so this is Venom. This Brock. Yeah. How did you not realize that? I like how... And that's a sarcastic like. Uh, I like how even though all of it, all of the story is voiced, every piece of dialogue sounds like an excerpt from, a, from an instruction manual story summary. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you don't. The Star Fox isn't about the plot; it's about the character interactions. That's what people like about. Yeah, I the, know. So but, uh, <laughs> long sections like that, where you actually have them explaining blah 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 plot device blah 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 blah. You don't care. Well, <laughs> you just you mimic the SNES voices so well. <laughs> you know, it's oh, not oh, even oh, that oh, the oh, plot oh. itself is. Is in any is, is in any sense bad? It, it's more just the the way that the story is presented sounds very summarized. Well, well then the fact that they've used this same plot like four times already. Also, trying to find where the the teleport, not the te the, the hacking terminal is. It's it's somewhere around here, but I can never remember where specifically. It's supposed you to be. You can go inside the ridges for power-ups and health if you need to. You're going to need it for what's coming up. Yeah, but I, 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 I know that, and I normally do that when I'm playing the game myself, but I also... You can do that while you're fighting Star Wolf, so I don't feel like doing it right now, because <laughs> so, that would just waste time. So, Oh, yeah, it's lasers. lasers. There it is. So if you sw do switch the, the screen to the cockpit the TV screen to the cockpit view, that's what you're seeing the entire time. It's honestly, I think it would be harder to maneuver using that on, than having it be on the gamepad screen, personally. Well, the, the cockpit view is something that you had in 64 as well. Yeah. Only in very select instances. Wasn't it something that you could If I remember to? that correctly, was that in 64? No, you, uh, it was something you could do anytime. It wasn't okay. You know what I'm thinking of? Um, I'm thinking of the original Star Fox, where cockpit view was only available in space missions. Right. No, you could you could you could go into a first person view anytime you wanted in 64. It just didn't change anything. Yeah, this is the longest and the most. This is the longest Star Wolf fight, but that's it's. I wouldn't say it's the hardest. It's just that you have to deal with all four of them at once. So it takes the like you don't even get the nominal help from your buddies that you get normally. <laughs> So, so, okay, so this is technically no different than any other Star Wars. Yeah, pretty much, actually. Um, they can turn to their walkers, though. That's cool, I guess. Um, Way clearer than my chicken thing. If you, yeah. If you stay still as a walker, you can kind of function, you can aim with the gamepad and kind of function as anti-aircraft uh, fire, though. Yeah, which is kind of, that's, that's kind of cool, personally, I think. It's just kind of like, if they're on the ground, you go to the air. If you're on the air, uh, if they're in the air, you go to the ground. That's how I usually handle uh, these fights. Because it is kind of hard to get a good shot at them due to the curved nature of the planet when they're on the ground and you're on the ground. But if they're in the air, then it's piss easy. So. If they drop like flies, though, you see them shooting with Pigma and Andrew there. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even at Hyper Laser. I'm at Dual Laser. And they're it. Twin Lasers. Yeah. Twin Laser. Okay, well, excuse me. I I called a coin. I called a ring a coin. What are you going to do about it? 
Right? That's what I... Well, that's just fucking wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, some people get legit upset when you, like, when they're watching some... They're watching, like, their, 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 like, their, their friend who doesn't play much Sonic, and it's just like, how do I get those, uh, those coins up there? They're rings! I hate you! Friendship over! <laughs> Unsub. Unsub. <laughs> There's plenty of power-ups hidden all over the place, though, so... If you want to make the yeah. fight easier, you can go and find them before you start, and you'll have them as soon as they, they pop in. Like, there's there's plenty of health. There's at least a handful lasers. of lasers. Oh, twin blasters! I, I think there might be a time limit on them, too. I think, like, after a certain amount of time, they might disappear. No, I think you hold on to them as long as you don't take as much damage. Um, okay, I'll take your word for it. Like, because I, I, I've always kind of noticed, like, after a point, like, hey, wait, my... my 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 lasers are are down, but I never really noticed why. I always assumed it was time. It might have been just damage, like I took too many hits, though. Yeah, you get a little graphical pop up when you lose the lasers. Yeah, but it's only like on you... the it's only on the TV screen. I've noticed though. So if you're yeah. staring at the gamepad for whatever reason, you're gonna miss it. Well, you have a backup there anyway on the floor, so. If I can you're find good. it again, there's not a lot of landmarks uh, on the on this hunk of rock. In space. Oh, apart from the Death Star Trench. Uh, there's, well, the, the Death Star Trench goes out in four directions from the center teleporter, so you can't really tell what hemisphere you're on uh, at, any, at any given I point, um, uh, really, so. That's the first time I've seen that power-up. What is that? Uh, that's it's just, just a super, it has super health. Yeah, uh. like, it's a, if you get three gold rings, you get an extra life. Um, your lives also reset after every level two, if you're playing standard, uh, which is dumb, <laughs> for the record. I think if you're playing arcade yeah. mode, you only ever have one life as well, which is also weird. Um, you need three gold rings in order to continue. Yeah. Whoa. So, the Death Star exhaust port is trippy today. Yeah, this is... This is the black hole again, so... What kind of sick fumes are they pumping out? Uh, I don't know. You also, you have to go a very specific uh, order in order to... Uh, or a recess. So yeah, yeah. Which, um, but the game doesn't tell you the order at first. You have to have... Um, guess. You either have to guess or eventually, like, if you mess up enough times, um, Fox's dad will show up and tell you the right way. But if you get it right the first time, you get a medal for it, I think. So that's just oh yeah, see the 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 power up icon just happened right there. Yeah, but you immediately replaced it. So yeah, so yeah. it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, like I think here I I screw up and am sent back to the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Trust your instincts. Okay. Okay, Dad. Jeez, you don't have to. Like your father just tells you to trust your instincts, and you screw up again. He like he physically shows up. I was like, oh, you fucking idiot. <laughs> My instincts were wrong. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's just like, oh, death. Yeah, I trust my instincts. What happened when you trusted yours? You died. Oh, I said it. Like, imagine what kind of father uh, James McLeod was to Fox, though, when he was growing. Uh, when he was growing up, it was like, uh, Dad, I'm having trouble with this uh, with this long division homework. Trust your instincts, Fox. So the the answer is twelve. Yes, uh, trust your instincts, Fox. Just trust your instincts. <laughs> uh, you don't know the answer at all, do you? Trust go your to your instincts. room, Fox. <laughs> You're grounded. <laughs> I do know one thing, where your room is at, go there. <laughs> and trust your instincts while you're on the way. I think if you miss power-ups, though, you can make the room reset um, on purpose to go get them. Yeah, yeah, you could totally do that. Also, the, the, the floating magic, whatever the hell these things are, do do a lot of damage, so keep yeah. an eye out for those. Th these have to be based off the warp gates of 64. Yeah. Which, by the way, why are they such a pain in the ass to get to? <laughs> Except for the, the, um... Uh, I forgot what sector it was. The one where you have to shoot the warp panels. Uh, X. Was it X? Yeah. Because yeah. you can at least get Bill to help you with that one if you approach it from, um... No turning back. Katina. But the one where you have to drive through the warp gates is... Asteroid field, yeah. So impossibly hard. I like I've how done it. this guy says, if you go any further, there'll be no turning back. I can't turn back. I'm not in all, all range. <laughs> I also love that it's the exact same model as Fox, just with sunglasses plastered on. Well, <laughs> that's how it's always been. <laughs> yeah. 
So what, if Fox just found a pair of shades, he could masquerade as, a, as his father and nobody would be able to tell yeah. the difference? For Halloween, easiest costume ever. I'm my dad. <laughs> Only I have the brains to rule uh, Nintendo. Okay, Andros, <laughs> I have a question for you. Why do you want to rule? Um, I'm evil! E <laughs> to answer a joking question with a serious answer, he's mad because they they thought he was dangerous and put him in a and put him in a different revenge in the, fa in the Phantom Zone. But, no, no, didn't he do that before though? No, I don't think he was trying to revolt. I think he was just creating dangerous shit, and they and they yeah. and they they stopped. Okay, so uh, here's the thing. Um, on the gamepad screen, where there are entries into the into the center part, the gamepad will glow blue. So you actually, yeah. it's a much easier to figure out where you're trying to go when you, if you look at the gamepad. Yeah, for some reason the area only glows blue in the cockpit view. Also, I went in at the worst possible time because right as I went in, he was charging his, he was charging his super duper. The fire and his lasers. Yeah. This is actually an instance where I think it's it's better because you're spending most of this fight looking at the gamepad. I, th you actually, I feel like it's impossible to dodge lasers if you're looking at the gamepad and you want to do it look at the TV screen to get a better angle there. Oh look! A floating head and two floating <laughs> hands. <laughs> I feel like it's, it's the, this is, Andros is like the only instance where I feel like it's still okay though because yeah. he was the, the progenitor. He is, he is the yeah. original head and floating hands. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, Andros is probably the one who can get away with it but it's still one of those, oh, hi Nintendo's favorite boss idea. Also, Andros is a robot! Yeah, another SNES callback where he's all Andros he's all silver monochrome. Is, is all silver and chrome. No, Andros was a po and Andros. Andros was a polygon in Star Fox SNES. <laughs> not just not a construct made of polygons, a single polygon. <laughs> <laughs> you jumped right into that. I barrel rolled the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> that right there, that was Solid Snake trying to drop kick Metal Gear Rex. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Ah! <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, blow it off. Ah! I will say this fight is fun, though, once you really get, uh, no, f figure out what you're doing. Well, it's more in depth than other Andros fights. I feel like more fights needed to be like this to really make the gamepad and TV split, like, to really take advantage of it. We needed more fights that were this complex. And we just, we don't get, we don't get anything that in-depth until the very end of the game, which is sad. There's also no different boss, depending on what version, like, what, uh, what, there's only one version of this boss fight, whereas in 64, depending on the route you took, you got the, the brain, uh, you got the brain fight. Um, did you have to be doing it in hard mode, uh, doing the hard path to get um, to Area 6, or did you... No, as long as you got to Area 6. Uh, you can got you to get to Area 6 by doing the middle path, though? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can do okay, it. Okay, so you're, you don't have to play the hardest mode in order to get the, the brain, no. brain drops. No. Also, I believe his, his hands do drop laser power-ups. Yeah, like the one conspicuously floating around. <laughs> I think he'd get rid of it. Eh, no, nah, he can't. It. It is. It's just shocking how much more damage you do when you have the. No, where are you going? I'm trying to get out, <laughs> but. No, get, get. Oh, did you not make it in time? Oh, okay. No, I did. It's just the 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 hit detection. T the hit detection was being wonky about me getting out, so I had to go do a different hole. Oh, okay. Because now you got to aim for the back of the head. Yeah, basically. I don't think you can do more damage to him at that point. When he's about to charge his, his super move, you just do... I think if you're in here, when he's doing that, not only will it do a lot of damage, but you'll be knocked straight out of the, the center part of the cylinder. Also, he always fires the lasers in a set pattern. It's down, down, up, and then down. So once you memorize that, you're pretty much good to go. Um, Fox Tasty. <laughs> I hunger. Run, run. Yeah, he does look like Shodan. 
Uh, Sinistar. Oh, Sinistar, my bad. I am Sinistar. Beware, I live. I hunger. I hunger. Run! <laughs> Oh, I felt that. <laughs> <laughs> that was like my only Nova Bomb, too. <laughs> I think I missed when I was trying to hit the... Um, oh, what's it called? Oh, well, oh, first off, I lied about the laser order, for the record. Um, but I think I missed when I was trying to shoot his hands with one of them, too. That's an ES callback. Yeah. No, you're shooting all sorts of Tetris pieces at you. And now yeah. I can just imagine the comment section being full of people who commented part way through the video before you said that just now to correct you the first time. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I've done that as well. So Yeah, that's actually one of my favorite things about one of the recent Metroid Prime parts that went up uh, just a few days ago at the time of this recording was when I was uh, fighting the Omega Pirate. And I went on and on about how you can't use power bombs to destroy its sections. But I was under the assumption that you couldn't do that in Trilogy. Nope, you could. But you could, which I found out accidentally. But there was like four or five comments in the video saying that, uh, John, actually, you can do it in Prime. And suddenly, and there were a few that said, uh, I should have watched the rest of the video before I made that comment. <laughs> <laughs> if I go down, I'm taking you with me. Wee! Ow, he doesn't do I a am, lot of damage. I was so. gonna say I have more health. To, I have enough health to outlast you. Yeah, he doesn't really do that much damage, so you can take most of his hits and still be fine. Bitch, I might as well you be flying a biplane out of Malay Island right now. <laughs> you have to make it back to your friends, Fox. You told me there was no turning back, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, me. <laughs> That's why, everyone asks about why, that's why everyone asks about this storyline. Oh, he didn't do it. Okay. What, did it. what can you do? Out of instinct, my first playthrough with eh. this, I did a U-turn. Your instincts. Eh. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Uh, uh, out, of, uh, out of instinct, uh, during that part, uh, I did a U-turn, and I shot him in the back, which works. You can, you can kill him that way, and I think that's how you get the mission accomplished. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Cool. I didn't know you could do that. I thought that you that would just... I thought what you had to do, because he turned around and you see the obvious fuck me orb. So I did a U-turn. It worked, and I was able to shoot it. Nope. Mm. Uh, do you have to do that in 64? No. No. Ah, okay. Well, the ending sequence is completely different in 64, where you're following your father out of the... Uh, um, are you sure? Because the ending the sequence here is literally the exact same as it is in Star well, Fox. The means of escaping is different, because <laughs> you're following your father out of the... Uh, if I go down, area. I'm taking you with me. Yeah. But yeah, this ending credit sequence is exactly the same from 64. So much yeah. so that I'm like, why did you even bother? <laughs> <laughs> Nostalgia! It just, it, it, just, it just turns into the 64 ending and suddenly everyone's like rocking the 64 graphics. It's like, what the fuck happened? Why am I low poly? <laughs> Lower poly. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's Star Fox 64. No, I mean, I was actually... I was actually meaning to say Star Fox Zero. I wasn't trying to be sarcastic. Like, yeah, we just played Star Fox 64, but I was. Kidding, I <laughs> yeah, that was Star Fox Super Nintendo. I mean, 64. Yeah. I mean, 3D. I mean, Zero. It's like, wait, isn't this the ninth game of the series? So yeah, um, obviously divisive. It's it's a well it's well made. I think, and arguably well made in many areas. It's just, it's the control. You either like it or you you don't Hate like it. it. And I don't feel like there's really any middle ground. Which is a shame because that's something so fundamental that this deciding factor of whether yeah. or not you play. It. Yeah, but you know, which, which is a shame because case, I like Star, I like sixty four, and I like Star Fox as a concept. It's just a, a, it, a few hiccups and assault aside, they haven't really done anything with the franchise in such a long time. In this case, I don't really feel like there's any problem with liking or disliking the game. Like, you, you can 
be good at the controls or you can be horrible at the controls. You can just not like the idea of the controls or you can love the idea of the controls. It's not really, it's not really an issue of entirely objective quality. Like, I can't point to the, the control scheme they use in this game and say the, so, and, and level the kind of solid complaints that I can against, say, Metroid Other M. Um... Uh, I just... The, the thing is, is that it feels like... Um, it is... You can make... Like, John made a good argument in his review in that you don't... If he, Like, even if... Star Fox 64 is a great game already, and there's no that, like, you know... There's no, like, half and half about it. Like, there's no, like, argument about controls or whether or not you like it or not. And... Like, even though I like this game's controls, I don't feel like, other than graphics, there's not much that it does better than than 64, really. Like, there's some interesting and, 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 ideas. And the whole graphic sound thing really isn't even a point in Zero Shaver, because that's just time. Yeah, not to mention that 3D is already... Like, if you, you hate things that look like they're out of an N64 game, the 3D version looks fantastic. So, yeah. there's... Yeah, but... Like, I don't want to say that there's no reason for this to exist, because, honestly, I appreciate it existing, because it makes the gamepad not a complete waste of space. Like, it's... <laughs> <laughs> you've got a real game that tries to do something really interesting with the gamepad. It came about four years too late, but I appreciate it. So, <laughs> you know... Yeah. I have I have Star Fox 64 3D, and now I'm just going to continue playing that, thanks. Yeah, so, you know, knowing Nintendo... If something doesn't do immediately well, they dump it for at least five years. We're not seeing Star Fox for a while. I think you might have to hold your breath on Star Fox Switch. But it would be nice for you them go to... Back, go back to the bar and hang out with Samus and Captain Falcon. Yeah, it would be... <laughs> I think it would be nice for um, for them to, you know, give the game a real... Uh, give the series another shot somewhere closer. Because it, it is also... I would, I would like it if they tried the whole assault idea better, have a mix of vehicle and on foot with different kinds of armaments and yeah. you know i didn't have a problem with the idea behind assault it's just that i don't think the controls and vision variety helped it yeah i i agree and you know it's also clear that they there was clearly a lot of love for Star Fox put into the game as well so the people who were making this wanted to make it it wasn't a lack of effort at all so i think that i i feel like there should be a zero no, maybe not zero two. That's a that's a stupid name. I'm talking to you, like a man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also this right here. This is this is genuinely touching. Where they? Um, oh wait, no, never mind. There's still a few more credits to go. For yeah, but sixty four also did this. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm talking about the I'm talking the about thing. the the Iwata where it's just like this this game is uh uh in. Oh, dedicated to our paws that fall like that have that have fallen like, you know, fell in battle. that fell in battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. that's that's really touching, you know. Still, like I I I was kind of surprised when they didn't have something like that for Mario Maker, but it, I feel like it is fitting to have it for um yeah here it is right here, um I feel like it is fitting to have it for Star it, Fox. It is also kind of sad because uh, Iwata's last statement as president was basically apologizing for that E three not being very good. Yeah, so that that's really depressing as well. Well, hopefully Nintendo can switch it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was mood whiplash to the extreme. If my microphone wasn't attached to a headset, I would drop it for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I could, yeah, can you do a mic drop with the headset? Uh, you can take the well, entire headset off. <laughs> also, no, it just seemed like a waste of time. Also, these things are expensive, and I don't want to. I don't want to break it. Also, we got another three minutes of credits left. So we're going to have to come up with some nice little uh, piano rendition of the Star Fox Zero theme. I'm not used to hearing this kind of music in Star Fox, though. Like, they very rarely bring it down to this kind of level. It's usually very triumphant brass or yeah. uh, violins. So just like a straight piano piece is a little weird to me, but it works. Mm, I'm not sure how I feel about Star Fox Zero yet. I'd have to play it for myself. Because you, it, it's really that kind of control scheme that I can't tell how I'm going to like it. Am 
I the only one who had Lewis cut out there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't just uh, you. Yeah, I, I I think he's still talking. He may have just dropped, but his audacity file is still going. So oh, nope. Oh, okay, there, there, we are. there he goes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I will finish what Lewis was saying. I love Devil May Cry. <laughs> you should play Devil May Cry as well. It's a great series. Sonic, 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 Sonic. Sonic. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh man! Uh, and, uh, hey, uh, final uh, call back to our 64 commentary. <laughs> we had call quality issues there too. <laughs> oh man! So if so if Nintendo can repeat the same game over and over again, we can repeat the same commentary in return. Yeah. Oh my god. So I hope you guys are looking forward to the eventual Star Fox command commentary where uh uh we restart have fun ted uh, actually you know what we haven't done adventures yet and that's probably the most divisive star fox game and that is well, it's not, well the thing is, is the thing is it's not a star fox game <laughs> it's a yeah it's a zelda game um a very so, basic zelda game oh yeah so have fun recording that ryan i don't hate the game it's just boring <laughs> then you're i think you're qualified most to record the game yeah, because, uh, John, you really didn't like it, from what I remember, right? Um, it's look, because, like, even after I accepted the fact that it's not a Star Fox game, um, it's, just, it's, it's still... It's a very boring yeah, like game. Said, it's a very boring Zelda game, and I've played better Zelda games, yeah. so... I mean, I don't have a problem recording it, it's just that I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so they oh they have both Iwata and Kimishima as the executive producer, okay. I, I'm almost never paying attention. Once the credits are up in a game, so I, I didn't notice before this. Platinum! So, yeah. Platinum was a good choice to bring the series yeah. back. I agree. I'm glad they were considered. Uh, I, and I... this was the official gravestone of the Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look at my look at my score. I did so good. Yeah. What was the, um, what was the score requirement to get Pepper to... Like freak out in sixty four. Oh, I can't remember the exact score off the top yeah. of my head. That was a hilarious reaction, though. Like he goes, "Like what the heck?" Like what the money, money, money. <laughs> well, Pepe, Pepe writes out the check and just barrel roll scribbled all over the place. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how much barrel roll is in Cornerian dollars. Ah, uh, your taxpayer money hard at work, ladies and gentlemen. 